This is Shannon Vincello with PokerNews.com. It's just after 4 a.m. and there was a little upset at one of the tables. Sorry, I was unclear, so I really can't give any more of a I, I, It was unclear to me what was said. I don't, I didn't hear anything. So. Sorry, I, I don't know what's the ruling. So what happens to the uncalled amount? Are you saying it's just uncalled? Fine, okay. I would make an issue of it, uh, but I'm, you guys are wrong with your ruling. The dealer made, um, the dealer thought he heard calls. The deal, and you guys are supervisors, so you okay, should have thought. He thought he heard calls. Sorry? He thought he heard calls. That's right, that's right. And the dealer's are the best person to understand. I'm happy for you to take your chips back uh, because we are friends, right? But in another situation. That's what I said, count. No, I understand that. But in another situation, that would not be the case. All right, let's go. Let's go. Next time. Apparently, uh, David Rowe uh, said count when David Saab and the dealer both that he said call. David Saab politely allowed uh, Rowe to take his chips back. And uh, we're just following it from here. Hopefully we'll be down to nine in a few moments. Uh, and we're just patiently waiting as the morning hours tick on. This is Shan Vincello for PokerNews.com. Yes! 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 It is just after 4 a.m. and we are down to our final nine. Chaiyun Kim was just eliminated and we will bring you all the chip counts and all the latest updates tomorrow morning. This is Shannon Vincello for PokerNews.com signing off.